Hello, everybody. My name is Pizza Hunter Brandon, and welcome to a different, well, it's not really a different type of video. Welcome to Four Years Later. Now, those who have been around my channel in, uh, well, I can actually say specifically a year or longer. If you haven't been around my channel since then, you won't really know what this is. But today is April 14th, 2016, at least the time that I am uploading this right now. Four years ago, hence the title four years later, was April 14, 2012. Now, the significance of today and that day in, in particular was because April 14, 2012 was the first day that I ever uploaded a video onto YouTube. Now, I'd had my YouTube account for well around uh, like a year before that time, but I never really did anything with it. It was April 14th that I actually decided to start uploading and start doing YouTube um, around Minecraft and, you know, really kick things off. And today, is uh four years later now some of you guys might have been around you know on the channel for a uh, shorter amount of time than that some of you guys might have been around since the start if you are please tell me in the comments i would love to say hi to you but apart from that though i've been doing this a very long time now this kind of video is something that i do every uh year since i started i did one at one year later i did one at two year later three year later same exact title same exact everything if you guys want to search it up literally just type in this title with a dot 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 at the end just in place four with three two or one and then obviously for one get rid of the s in the year but apart from that though the first year that i did uh this video after i had had my youtube channel for a year i did a video on a server called mcthewalls.com and the reason this was because that server was the first server I really had a direct partnership and involvement with and it was a huge part of my life in that time and in that period of my career the second year I did a server or I did a video on the nexusmc.com which is a server that was uh, myself Kyle uh, Turk Mitch and Jerome and I can loosely say that I helped create that server from the ground up it was a very big part of uh, more so good Jerome and Mitch's channels when they uploaded Hunger Games a lot more often and did a lot more games on there it was a pretty big involvement so I did a recap of there because that what was most that's what was most important in those uh you know that past year in my career on here it, ga it gave me a job it gave me something else to do and it was awesome third year I didn't really have anything to backtrack because nothing really else had changed aside from quitting the Nexus to get a bit more serious into YouTube but at that point I decided to uh do a video showcasing my first Minecraft world I had ever created and I thought that was pretty freaking awesome now what I should have done last year that would have been amazing but I'm going to do this year instead was something that happened October 20th 2014 and it was the day that I finally started taking YouTube seriously as a job and that was how to Minecraft the SMP server that I was invited to along with myself and many other YouTubers for those who don't know what it was is a group SMP vanilla uh, in 1.8 that me and a bunch of other YouTubers played on and I graciously was invited to not from the start I kind of had to beg my way in but I got invited to it and my first day was on October 20th, 2014. That was 525 days ago. Now, the reason I know that date is because I actually checked it yesterday. I've been uploading to YouTube daily since that day. 525 days straight on YouTube. I have gone without missing a single upload a year and a half, and that's pretty damn cool to be able to say right there. So I figured I'd go and show you guys around here back in the first world to give you guys a little bit of a nostalgia on this, uh, you know, one of the most important turning points on here. And I've already said my piece on this. I've already said my story about how I wasn't invited, how I got invited, the gifts that I was given, you know, the opportunity I was given. And you guys know I capitalized on that. I uploaded it daily and I started uploading videos in between seasons. I started really branching out to be a different kind of YouTuber. And that was that. Now, over the past year of creating content, I've uploaded uh, quite a few things. I did Crazy Craft, which was by far, I think, the biggest series that I had ever done, um, you know, like with an involvement in a bunch of other YouTubers. That was an amazing series. You can start with Crazy Craft 3.0. And since then, I've been doing Crazier Crap, which is a, uh, you know, something that I created on my own from January 1st. And I've been doing it near daily ever since. And it's been awesome so far. Now, with that said, though, I've also done How To Minecraft Season 2. I've done How To Minecraft Season 3. There's been a lot of awesome things. And hopefully this summer, again, no words haven't spoken about it. Hopefully this summer, How To Minecraft Season 4 will come around being 1.9. And we'll have an awesome time on there. But again, that's not the topic of discussion for today's video. Um, that's just, just another little side note. I really hope it's going to be a fourth season. I don't see why there wouldn't be. But again, that's all left into the interest of mostly the members from the pack and then some. 
Now, that's a little bit of backstory about how my year's been. You guys know in the past year, I've done a lot of cool series. I've got, done a lot of stuff on here. And I've really taken YouTube to uh, a point where I've been able to call it my job and a very profitable one at that and when I say profitable I'm not necessarily talking monetary I'm talking about experiences I'm talking about being able to reach a much larger audience we're very close to 700,000 subscribers which is amazing and I seriously have to say thank you guys so much for that uh expect the live stream by the way just letting you know as always there will be a live stream for 700k that's just something that always has to happen just like these videos every year has to happen now I'm not gonna lie to you guys I have uh I'll, I'll change up the tone a little bit on this video I want to say this is a bit different because for one point before I get into the serious thing I do want to say that I normally record these on my Macintosh for those that don't know I started out YouTube on an iMac it was a very crappy it was my first computer ever it was back from early 2008 is when the computer went around so this computer is eight years old now I tried recording on the Mac on this video because if you guys take a look my one year later two year later and three year later were all recorded on my Mac I'd bust it out you know I'd I'd take it out of the garage and I'd give it its good old yearly beating and try recording a video on there. But unfortunately, I'll go ahead and leave a little clip that I recorded on my iPhone. We had to say goodbye to the Mac. It's still around, but the Mac can no longer be recorded on since this is what happens when I just try playing Minecraft. So we're going to time how long it takes for me to get from one side of this room to the other while on a Mac. All right, let's go ahead and start moving forward. Oh, and we're on our way. Oh, we're off to the races. Oh, nope, never mind. Broke a little uh, little gas leak right there. Oh, brake, uh, brakes are acting up a little bit. Oh, flat tire. No, no, still, nope, there's another flat tire. All right, well, two of them are gone. We got two left. Still not moving at all, though, so maybe that might not be enough. Oh, we're still trying to get... Oh, just trying to get over to the bedroom. Oh, we're so close. Yeah, this one you thought you were going to be close enough. Wait for it. Eh, wait. Hold up. We're nearly there. Oh, just start up a little bit. Oh, right on there. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, you can't film on this thing. So unfortunately, the Macintosh is dead, and uh, I guess one like equals one dead Mac, which kind of really, really bumps me out a bit. But apart from that, though, guys, um, that's all well and said behind it. What I want to talk about in this video was something that I've already, tr I've already tried recording this a few times over, and I've failed, mainly because I would go on way too many tangents. But I'm going to try and get very straight to the point in this. Uh, I watched a video prior to uh, recording this or whatever from Markiplier. For those who don't, well, okay, you do. I'll skip that. Those of you that know Mark Kaplier, which should be the majority of you, uh, his actual YouTube anniversary was uh, three days four years ago. So he started YouTube, I believe, if I'm, I, if I'm correct in saying this, I might be a little bit wrong, April 11th, not 14th, of 2012. That's when he started YouTube. So his four-year anniversary was three days ago. For his four-year anniversary, at least I think it was for his four-year, it might have been a day or two behind. Again, I don't know this, so don't take my word for it. But for his four-year anniversary, he talked about how YouTube as a whole has been changing lately and I think for anyone that's been around on YouTube it's a pretty you know you can pretty much very easily tell I'm gonna go ahead and do a time set day real fast here just so you know we can keep a little bit of the livelihood of this uh video here so it's a bit brighter literally hey um he talked about how YouTube lately has been changing and uh not necessarily you know for the better or for the worse but it's become a lot more of a competition a lot more pessimistic and a lot more of a uh kind of a lack of like I don't really know the term of it I'm I'm doing this all in one take right now there's not as much creativity going around on YouTube as there was anymore and I won't rephrase everything he said if you want to watch it I'll leave it link in the description go watch the video it's amazing he did a great job explaining it's very very like true to light and uh what he basically said though was there's a lot more people doing YouTube right now. A uh, little number I actually found out. There's about 970,000 YouTube channels that exist right now that have more than a hundred that have more than a thousand subs. Not a hundred, but a thousand subs. Nearly a million YouTube channels at the moment right now have more than a thousand subscribers. That's a very astonishing number. So there's a lot of people saturating up YouTube when that never really used to be the case anymore. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to get into this. I'm really, really not. But YouTube lately has become a lot more of, you know, in the past while, it's become a lot more of if one person likes what they see, more of that video will be created. And if one person creates a video and, you know, someone doesn't like that video, a lot less of that will be created because it's just not as accepted and with that said, YouTube has become a lot more of a, like, not as much creativity is around there. And, you know, obviously there's still creativity. There's still very creative things being made on YouTube today. But 
it's not really what, you know, gets views anymore. Back a few years ago, you could post a bunch of random stuff and it would smash and people would love it and it was amazing, but now it seems like a lot of the more popular videos are all very similar to each other in each category. Like, a lot of the popular gaming videos all have about the same aspects to them. A lot of the popular vlogging videos all have the same aspects to them. How-to videos all the same aspects to them. YouTube has become a lot more saturated to the point where a lot of people are just trying to do what the system, the algorithm of YouTube will generate views for. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with wanting views. There's nothing wrong with wanting money because that's really what YouTube is right now. A lot of people are in this to want three things. Relevance being most important, views, and money. And there's nothing wrong with wanting any of those. I want all three of those. And I'll get into that in a second. And it's a lot of people in YouTube want that sort of thing. You want to be relevant in this community. You want to have a lot of views. You want to ha make a lot of money to be able to not only put food on the table, but to be able to, you know, supply yourself with a future beyond what YouTube will give you, you know, to branch out with some other stuff right here. Now, I'm not going to talk about YouTube in itself too much in this video, but I did want to take this very, you know, like once a year special opportunity to not take some time and just record a face cam on a random day. But I want to take this opportunity to talk to you guys about how I feel about my content that I've been creating lately, how it's different than how, what I've ever created before, and really what my thoughts are about the future of YouTube and where I see myself going on this. As you guys know, in the past few months, compared to what I used to usually do, you guys can see I'm marketing my videos and advertising them a bit differently than I have. Now, I'm not saying I'm not relating to like sponsorships or like paid things or whatever it may be, but you guys can very easily tell, and this is going to get very real, so I want you guys to be very open with me trying to just like let you keep you guys in on the loop of how I feel of my job and what I'm doing on here. You know, obviously, I've been creating content that I think is going to get views. Now, with that said, though, I don't see that being a bad thing. I've looked back on my channel over the past few months or so, and I've looked at all this content that I've been creating, and it seems very much the same and a very similar in a lot of aspects. And it's, at the same time, very different than content I've ever created before, and I'm not ashamed of that. I'm really not, okay? But I am like a lot of other YouTubers where I want to stay relevant in this community. Because in YouTube, if you're a YouTuber, you might understand what I'm talking about. But if you're just a viewer, I want you guys to understand something. YouTube is a very competitive market in the fact that anyone can do it if they try to. YouTube, now I'm not saying anyone can be a YouTuber. That's not true. It takes a very good set amount of skill and luck to be able to become a good YouTuber and make quality videos. But anyone can do it if they set their mind hard enough because you don't need a team, you don't need a lot of money, you don't need a lot of resources to get into YouTube. You can upload a video from your phone straight to YouTube and then there you go. Do that for a week or two and you consider yourself a YouTuber. It's very easy to get into this business. With that said though, because it's so easy to get into this business, there's a lot of people that are right there behind you if you're a YouTuber, ready to take up your spot if you don't, you know, like fully capitalize on it. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. It's unfortunate to say, but if I don't keep 100% on my game, if I don't upload every single day for the most part and brand my content in the way that I want it to get views and stay relevant, someone else could take my channel's spot and my channel could, you know, go right down the, you know, the toilet and I wouldn't have anything to do about it because that's the unfortunate thing about YouTube as of lately. You know, there's a lot of people out there, but you guys have to understand while more people are being born every day and the, you know, world's population is growing, there still only is a certain amount of time that each viewer has. Think about it this way. You guys right now that are watching this video on YouTube chose this video out of any other video on the entire website, you guys are investing your time into watching this specific video. It's kind of crazy when you think about it. And the way that I look at it right now, if I hadn't been marketing my videos and advertising them in the way that I have been lately, there's a chance that you guys might not have wanted to watch this video or might not have even seen it and you were watching some other video from someone else. That's the whole competition thing and the whole, if you're not on top of your game completely, someone's going to take your spot from your nose. With me saying that, I want to go ahead and say one thing to you guys. I am 100% grateful for every 
everything you guys have given me. I didn't really have a lot, and I'm not going to get into sympathy. I'm not asking for sympathy. Don't think that I am, but I'm going to be honest. I didn't really have a lot going for me uh, before YouTube. You know, I didn't really have a lot of friends. I didn't really have a lot of stuff I was doing outside of my home. I was a very nerdy kid. I was very sheltered. You know, the internet was my life, and I didn't really know a lot of people on here, so it was a very, you know, I was pretty lonely for a while, for a very long while. And then YouTube came along, and it gave me what I feel it was like life to me. You know, like this genuinely feels like right now where I belong and what I'm doing right now is amazing like I, the fact that I can call something that makes people happy gets them through hard times or even just helps them delay their work and you know just be entertained while procrastinating as my job is an immense thing to be able to do and I'm so infinitely blessed that I'm in a position where not only myself and my hard work but you guys have allowed me to continue doing this and you know make a living off of it and make an earning and be able to advance into other things in my life from this so I want to say thank you um, but with that said, though, I want you guys to know something over the past few months or so I have I'm not going to say that I've been clickbaiting my videos a lot more than I ever used to, but I've definitely been, um, how should I say advertising my videos in a lot more of an exaggerated way in order to generate views and relevance in this place that we call YouTube. And the reason that I'm doing that is more so for, a you know, like a business strategic thing, um, not necessarily that that's all that I want to do. But, you know, if you don't do YouTube for views and, you know, if you don't do YouTube to make sure that you can get views, there's a very good chance that you won't do YouTube for a very long time. Like if I was generating about half the views that I am right now, I don't know how much longer I'd be able to do YouTube for as my job. And considering doing what I'm doing right now requires eight plus hours a day of my time. If I wasn't making a pretty good, you know, chunk of money off of this, I would have to get a job somewhere else and I wouldn't be able to do YouTube. So part of the reason reason why I've been advertising my videos in a lot of ways to get more views is so I can guarantee myself a lot more of a safe position to continue doing this for a very long time and not really have to worry about money. Because I will let you guys know one thing. With YouTube, every day when it comes to your job, this is not like a set thing. Like as YouTubers, we don't have like, you're going to make this amount of money per year, do whatever you want for the next year, and that's just how it's going to work. We don't have that, unfortunately. It would be amazing if we did, but our money is all just to decided on our security I should say is all decided on how many views we get in a day and uh, whether or not you know like our ad revenue did well for that day it's a very worrying job at the same time that it's awesome so what I'm saying with that is that I've been you know say I don't really know how to say it selling my videos in a way that I hope will get more views so that I can continue doing this for longer now with that said though the videos that I've been selling for more views I've still been keeping true to my heart. I want you guys to know that I never put on a fake face or any sort of fake enthusiasm to gain more views, to reel in a different audience, whatever that may be. I advertise my videos in a different way. And over the past year, I've definitely been doing that a lot more often than normal because I mentioned this in a crazier craft I uh, posted a couple days ago. I started a project recently that is away from YouTube, away from video games, away from all of that. And it's a very scary thing for me at the age age of 19. It's a big deal in my opinion if it goes over well. And it might succeed, it might fail, and it's going to cost, you know, like it's going to require a bit of money to get started, and it's all a risk, you know? And this is for me really been opening my mind lately. For those wondering why I haven't been uploading uh too frequently in the past couple days, I've been taking some time to think personally. And um, you know, really if YouTube if I wasn't able to be in a position where YouTube was, you know, my job and paying me pretty well, I wouldn't have been able to do this step, next step in my life. And that's the whole thing with YouTube is once you do it for a while, and if you can really home into it and secure a place on here, it can branch off into your future and an area, you know, into your life that's apart from YouTube. And when YouTube ends, whenever that may be for me or for other people, I'll have something to do when I'm done. It's kind of like, for example, you know, Kobe just retired, you know, like as being a basketball player for around, tw you know, two decades. And of course he's young. He's He's going to do something else, but his basketball career is what it's allowing him to be in a position where he can do something else immense, whatever that may be. And it's the same for YouTubers and it's a beautiful thing. So I want you guys to understand something and saying that, yes, I know I'm exaggerating my titles a lot more. I'm changing how I, you know, like, um, throw up algorithms in my videos and I'm changing how I do things a little bit to uh, be more susceptible to getting more views, but I'm not changing my content. 
this whole video was for me to let you guys know that I know where my true audience is out there. And I want to make sure that I never get caught up in this rush that is YouTube that is insane, you know? Like, working eight plus hours a day on this every single day doesn't really give you a lot of time to think and to really absorb everything that's going on. But to be in a position where I'm getting 10 million views a month on average right now with nearly 700,000 subscribers hoping for that 1 million that four years ago never even seemed feasible in the least is unreal. And I need you guys to know I'm so blessed and so very, very, very thankful of every single one of you. And I still promise you one thing that I have in every video that I mentioned this. I don't care how I advertise my videos. I don't care what I do YouTube for. I will never not appreciate you guys and the support every single one of you are giving me. If you're subscribed to me, if you're not subscribed to me, if you've been around for a year, if you've been around for four years, the whole long haul... If you have, please tell me. Or maybe even a few days, whatever it may be. If you guys support my videos, I want to say thank you for giving me what feels like a life and the opportunity now to... And obviously, I don't know this thing that I'm doing. I can't really talk about it. I will hopefully soon once it, you know, obviously blossoms a bit more and we get a bit more protection. Um, but... Obviously, you know, I don't know whether or not this step that I'm taking right now, obviously this step, by the way, will not derive from my YouTube. Like if this succeeds for me, it, I will, it won't take away from my time on YouTube. I promise you that. But I don't know if it's going to fail. I don't know if it's going to succeed. All I know is it's really opened my eyes that YouTube has allowed me to take a second step in my life. Something that I was very nervous for, something that I was really hesitant about doing. And it's amazing to see. So I want you guys to know. I love you all very much. Over the past year, I know I've changed as a YouTuber. Some people might call me, ah, oh, he only does it for the money. Ah, oh, he only does it for views. Oh, he only does it, you know, to sell himself out to a different audience. You know, he abandoned his fans or he abandoned the people that he loved before. It's not like that at all. Yes, I do this for views. Yes, I do this for money. Every YouTuber that wants to have this as a job will do this for views, relevance, and money. It's what we need to be able to do this. And if we don't have that, we can't do it. I would need a job somewhere else. So, you know, people always tell me, you know, hey, you know, you do this for money. You're a money whore. It's like, well... You guys have to understand, this is my job. And it's just like if you worked in a factory or you worked in a, you know, like an office space or a business, you would want to raise. You know, if your boss gave you a raise or an opportunity to say, hey, this will generate more income for you, you'd do it. You would. That's just how the world works. And this is the only opportunity that we have right now. I shouldn't say we. I'm talking about myself. That I have. So if I have an opportunity to get more money for myself to secure a longer time on doing here, because I'll say it one more time. While this is my job, I hate the fact that I feel that little bit of if I don't perform well enough today, this might damage, you know, like my income or it might damage, you know, uh, future being able to do this for longer. So the way that I figure it now, the more money that I make right now, the longer I'll be able to do this as a secure job. And that is just my number one goal to do YouTube for as long as I can until it doesn't interest me anymore. And that's all that I want. So... I want to end it off by saying, I know I probably, you know, I don't know if I can wrap up this video all in one thing. I don't know whether or not I can, you know, summarize a lot of things. All I want to say is, over the past year, YouTube has definitely changed. And it's changed a lot for myself, just like it has for a lot of other people. And I know I'm a different person, you know. I know I have a different personality, but I want you guys to remember, this human that you guys are hearing right now is exactly how I sound in real life. I'm not changing any of my content or any of my personality to appeal to some person that I'm not. No matter if I do this for money or if I do it for views or if I do it for relevance, if I do it for you guys, whatever the reason may be, I will never be fake and if I ever start to become fake I'm gonna stop doing YouTube take a break from it and come back when I've cleared my head because being fake is something that I will never be and I always want to make sure I stay true to myself part of the reason why I'm making this video right now is to remind you guys yes I'm a human yes I appreciate every single one of you if you've ever left support on my video at one point you guys are amazing you're my life my throat hurts I'm gonna end off the video now Thank you guys for watching this so much. Just wanted to let you know what I thought about things. Yes, I've changed the YouTuber. No, I'm not ashamed of anything I've done. I think it's still honest. I think it's still me being real. And uh, I just want you guys to know that I do have a lot of other thoughts while doing this job. And I don't think any of them are bad. And I think if anyone ever has any thoughts like, oh, you know, I don't have respect for this YouTuber anymore because they did a sponsored video or they're doing it for money or they only want views from this. Don't let that lose your respect for a person because this is our job. It's something that we want. As long as they're not being fake, 
they deserve your love. And I think that the same for myself as well. I try and stay as close as I can to this branded personality that I am past Pizza Hut, whatever it may be. I love you guys very much. Early thank you to 700,000 subs. I'll be doing a live stream around the time when I hit that. Of course, you know, the little celebration. I hit 700k thing. I'll be doing a live stream around that. So whenever that may be, I'll tweet it out on my Twitter and stuff like that. I'll probably post a video on here. But I just want to say thank you guys for four years. Here's to four more. So long as I want to do it for four more. Because that's a long time. I really, I'll be 23 by that time. Holy, holy shit. That's, that's a, yeah, that's a really long time right there. But apart from that, thank you guys for the year. Thank you guys for four years. Thank you for allowing me to continue doing this past this point. Thank you for allowing me to be in a position where I can upload for 525 days straight, including today. And um, really just thank you for making me feel like, you know, I have a purpose in my life. And I, I feel like this is where I belong for right now. And I think that's amazing. I think it's one of the most important things, if not the most important thing I will ever do in my life. And that's great to say. Entertainment is amazing. And knowing I make some of you guys happy is just a beautiful, beautiful thing. So I hope you guys are all doing great. If you have any questions or whatever, or maybe I didn't clear something up, I'll definitely be down in the comments if you guys want to reply to me uh, or talk to me. I'll reply back to clear some things up. Hopefully I didn't come off too like weird in this video. Try to be honest. I might have misworded some things that maybe seem a little bit like a prick. I have no idea. But I love you all very much. Hope you all having a great day. And I'll catch you all back next time. Ciao.